welcome back to our adventures aboard the cruise ship MSC Bellissima. Before heading out to discover a new country, we go and look for Renz, who has been up bright and early to get some work done. We also witness a crew safety drill, which brings back many memories from our time at sea. What it does in English, Mach? Danke. Yeah, it's raining. So, nevertheless, we geared up, put on all the clothes we have with us, and we are ready to go and have a look around. Welcome to Malta. Let's go. This year, 2019. We assumed or knew that it's rather new, but we didn't know that it was that new. So now we go. Going down. Going down. We took the Upper Baraka lift, which connects the Grand Harbour to the Upper Baraka Gardens. In only 25 seconds we ascended 58 meters, which makes it the quickest way to reach Valletta city centre from the waterfront. The garden promises an unhindered panoramic view over Malta and its natural harbour. Directly below the main terrace and garden is the saluting battery where a cannon once fired salutes to visiting naval vessels. Nowadays, the battery has been fully restored to its former glory, and every day, at 12 p.m. and 4 p.m., a cannon is fired.
the streets of Valletta. It is wet, like extremely wet, but it's beautiful. Um, apparently, we are very, very lucky because it has not been raining in a long time and apparently the forecast is also not predicting any rain besides today. So it seems we are lucky. Yeah, um, I think we're just going to go on a small round around the town and then, well, we might have to be back. It's beautiful, but I think we don't get to probably see everything. After strolling around for quite some time, we stumbled across Cafe Cordina, where we were greeted by its owner Luca, who runs the family business together with his father. We learned that the cafe's history dates back to the year 1837. From its humble beginnings as a confectionery in Wormla, it has become the prestigious coffee shop in Monta's capital. Nestled in an old palazzo, in the bustling streets of Valletta, the beautiful interior decor is highlighted by the unique vaulted ceiling which is embellished with paintings by the renowned Maltese painter Giuseppe Galli. The exquisite paintings symbolize the previous rulers of Malta and the diverse eras in Malta's history. We spent a lovely time sampling some of the delicious pastries and sipping on a warm coffee. Thank you, Luca, for your hospitality and the interesting insights we got from you. Thank you. 
Bogota has been described as one big open-air museum, and it is hard to argue any different. Wherever you go, the scenery and architecture provide a spectacular backdrop. The colors are striking, honey-colored stone against the deepest of Mediterranean blues, even on a rainy day like today. What make it, makes it unique is that so much of the past is visible today. Delve into the island's mysterious prehistory, retrace the footsteps of St. Paul, or see where the Knights of St. John fought their most famous battles. And if this were not enough, there are the two other islands, Gozo and Gomino, which can be a pleasant change of scene. The choice is really yours.